So around this time of year, my family and I have a yearly tradition. Uh, I might actually be the only rabbi who has a Christmas tradition. But December 25th, bank holiday in England, uh, we take advantage of the quiet that exists uh, here in town. Uh, and every December 25th, for years already, uh, Liat and I and the kids, we go out for an outing in London. And it's amazing what you can do when there's no traffic, there's no one on the road, the streets are quiet. Uh, we've actually found that there are two legal parking spaces in Trafalgar Square, right in front of the Canadian Embassy. A number of years ago, we actually discovered something amazing. We went to the Ministry of Defense and we were standing next to the Queen's Guards, amazing, impressive uh, human beings. Um, and they're in front of Buckingham Palace, but by the Ministry of Defense, you can actually get up and close and personal to them. Uh, it was a number of years ago, and we were standing next to the Queen's Guards. Uh, and as we approached them, uh, our children, who were quite young at the time, looked up at them and they said, Merry Christmas. Wish the guards a Merry Christmas. Now, one of the guards looked down at my son uh, and he said, Merry Christmas. Wish them a Merry Christmas back. Uh, and our children actually quite inquisitively said, hey, I thought you're not allowed to talk. And the guard said something funny. He said, ah, it's Christmas. We can do what we want. But what he didn't know was that gave a license for our children to ask a thousand and one questions. How much does the sword weigh? How does, how does the hat feel on your head? You know, does the fur bother you? Who gets to sit on the horse and who gets to stand on their feet all day? How do they decide these things? What training do you have? You know, questions about all kinds of things, really inquisitive, great questions. And the guard was amazingly happy to answer all of them. We had a fantastic, fantastic conversation. Uh, and what happened then was actually quite amazing. We spent probably 10, 15 minutes talking to this guard. Uh, and as we were walking away, he called the kids back and he said, children, and we turned back and his name was Francis. And they said, yes, uh, yes, Francis. And Francis said something amazing and I'll never, ever forget his words. He said, children, thanks for noticing me. Thanks for noticing me. And I, keep, I kept thinking about it, and I still think about it. It's amazing. This is an iconic, iconic uh, souvenir model for England. This is somebody who, you know, thousands of tourists go to seas on the front cover of souvenir magazines, postcards, you know, with Francis and his friends. You know, people from around the world come to see the Queen's Guards. What does that mean, thanks for noticing me? People notice him and see him all day long and every day. But then I realized something very, very profound. People can see something and not actually acknowledge that it's there. You know how many people go to the guards and because they won't speak, uh, people don't speak to them. You know, because you think that they, people don't treat them like a human being just because they're not actually going to engage in a way that you're accustomed to. And I realized something that Francis told us very, very profound, that things aren't always as they seem. You can look at something and not actually understand it as the depth that it really is. And since then, actually, we've been going back year after year because we've recognized this. We've actually extended the tradition. We go to the police, we go to the fire uh, department, to the fire brigade, um, and we've actually started to bring them cakes and cookies um, to the Queen's Guards, to the police, um, to service providers who are working um, on this bank holiday. Uh, and actually, year after year, we get invited back into the back of the barracks by, by the guards. Um, and it's amazing because it's different guards every year. And we always ask for last year's guards, but they're not there anymore. But our children children actually have this custom that we go every year um, and we recognize the people who perhaps people see but don't always acknowledge in the way they're supposed to. And I actually told over this story once, amazingly, uh, I was a guest speaker in Barclays Wealth for a Hanukkah party that they held. Um, and I thought of telling this story, sharing this story about our children and Francis and, you know, recognizing Francis who he was, even though they didn't think he would speak and Francis saying, thanks for noticing me. Uh, and I told this story as an introduction to Hanukkah, actually. And afterwards, a gentleman came, came over to me uh, and he said, you know, that was amazing. He said, I'm actually not Jewish and I attended the Hanukkah party because I have an employee who works for me here in Barclays who's Jewish and I was very curious about some of her Jewish customs. I have to tell you, when you started that speech, it was amazing. He says, because I used to be a Queen's Guard. I used to work uh, in, that, in that division um, of, the, of the officers and the, the guards that you were visiting. And he said it was amazing. People used to come, tourists would come, and not acknowledge that we were even human beings. And he said, amazingly, the whole families would set up a photo, children and grandparents around us, and pretend that we weren't even there. And as the dad would sort of go back, or the mom would take the camera and go back to take the shot, they, he said he would march away, and that was like their revenge. They couldn't say anything. He said, but to hear you relate to human beings like that was really very impactful for me. And the more I think about it, the more I realize that that's really the essence and the depth of what Hanukkah has to teach us. Things aren't always as they seem. A little bit of oil can burn what looks like it's going to burn for one day 
actually burns for eight. What looks like a small, weak, tiny number can actually destroy a mightier, much larger army than, than was attacking the Jewish people. When we look at things, we have to see the depth of them. And we as Jewish people have to recognize that things aren't always as they seem. And when we recognize that, thanks for noticing me, then we will be able to go taking this dark time of year and creating some light going further to have a wonderful year ahead. Happy Hanukkah.